Hey y'all, so today we are going to do a DIY blanket ladder made from reclaimed wood, so let's get started. Okay, so you are going to need a saw, a measuring tape, wood glue, sandpaper, a square, some gloves, an electric sander, and stain of your choice, and then some reclaimed wood. So as you can tell, it is the next day. Um, it got really late last night. We started losing daylight. Uh, so we went ahead and finished assembling the ladder and we ended up uh, using screws instead of nails, as you can see. Uh, just because of the nails that we had were not long enough. So we ended up just using what we had on hand. Um, but this is before we start staining, and then once we finish staining, then we will be done. Also, before we get started staining, I wanted to explain something real quick that's kind of important. Um, we actually angled all of these ladder rings at 10 degrees, and then also down at the bottom, down here, we angled that at 10 degrees as well. So let's get started staining. Okay, so real quick, um, I wanted to let y'all know what uh, stain I am using. I am using uh, the Min Wax Jacko Bean. Um, I'm using that for the stain. It's a darker stain. And then I also have a disposable glove that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then just an old rag that we had laying around the house. So let's get started. So you're just, um, what I'm doing is I'm just dipping it in the stain, dipping the rag in the stain, and then I'll just go over to the ladder and then just start wiping it off.
I got uh, pretty much all the stain done. Um, I just have to let the top part uh, dry out. And then I will do the very, very bottom of the legs down there. And, and then it'll be done. So excited. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all of course, this stain is going to lighten up just a little bit after it finished drying. Finishes drying, um, but I love how the stain brings out the natural beauty and marks of the wood. Um, we use the stain on our coffee table, and I just love it. So yeah. We'll come back in a couple hours and finish out these legs down here and then it'll be all done and I'll show y'all the full reveal. Okay, so here is the finished product. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this DIY video. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up so we can keep doing more of these. And we will see y'all next time. Bye.